The East African Safari Classic Rally is the world's toughest classic car rally, and this is intended to be that. This is a 1972 Porsche 911. It was a Bahia Red car that was in Colorado, and uh, Tuttle Porsche had the, had the car in storage. Just it, it, it was all complete and straight, but it was very sad and neglected, so we had them build that as a for the safari rally and this is a narrow body meaning no fender flares and no rear wing so it's it's set up to look like a 72 911 which is what it is including the oil filler on the right side which is functional in this car on the safari rally you're allowed up to 1988 technology so this car has a three liter uh, porsche engine it's 280 horsepower it's also tuned to run on crappy fuel that you might see in some of the uh, third world countries. It's, it, it has a number of other modifications to it. On the top of the car is a roof vent because it's 100 degrees in Africa and very dusty. And you run with the windows up, so you need some ventilation and that helps kind of pressurize the cabin and gives us uh, ventilation inside the car. Up under the front hood is a 100 liter fuel tank, 26.4 gallons compared to a stock 72911 would have 16.4 gallon tank and there are also two uh, spare tires up there and there's a tow rope to pull you out to hook to the rebars and there's spare tools and parts scattered throughout the car. When you open the driver's door there in the door car there's a impact wrench to power the lug nuts off of the wheels and there's a jack um, and uh, the lug nuts to get, to get everything off and on quickly. This is a um, FIA Appendix K rally car, so it's prepared for rallying in Europe, uh, and it can run some of the series over there, but there's some special preparations made for the Safari rally. It's got a ro robust suspension with upgraded um, springs and EXE TC shock absorbers with remote reservoirs, full underbody under protection, um, the wheels and tires, Dunlop rally tires on braid wheels. It, it, uh, all of the safari rallies run during the daytime so you don't need auxiliary lights, but it has a great big light on the A pillar on the co-driver's side. So that way Kenyans see that light mounted high. It's a unique light signature and they know a rally car is coming and to get out of the way. On the front and the rear of the car are rue bars just to help if you hit something to help protect the car a little bit. They're also very handy for yanking the car out of a ditch, either pulling it forward or pulling it rearward. And we have a big heavy rope for that up under the hood. A couple of other features on the exterior of the car are pieces of black plastic covering the door handles and the jack stand points because it can be very muddy if it rains and otherwise you won't, wouldn't be able to open the car door. Also mud flaps, those are required on the back of the car. Driving this car is just a blast. It's, uh, it's a very forgiving car and you can uh, come into a turn and maybe do a little bit of a Scandinavian flick and slam down on the gas and the rear end comes out very nicely and then you can feather off to control the rear end and then as it straightens out back down on the gas again and take off and it's just great fun. There's nothing more fun than driving on a dirt road. All rally cars have to be street legal because they transit on public roads. That's true here in the U.S. In Africa all of this everything's open including the special stages so you'll come flying over a crest and there might be a garbage truck broken down in the middle of the road, which is always exciting. And you have to watch out for pedestrians, other traffic. There's a lot of uh, scooters and motorcycles out there. And you, so you learn to watch in the distance and look for dust trails. And one of the rules of thumb is uh, if you can't see because you're coming up to a crest or a blind corner or dust, you slow down. And if you can see, then you go as fast as you can. This is a left-hand drive car and yet another challenge in Kenya is that's a right-hand drive country. So they, the government requires you to have LHD on the back of the car 
so the people behind you know it's a left-hand drive car. Safari Rally is something I've always wanted to do ever since I was a young guy. I didn't think I would ever get to do it, and when I was able to do it, it, uh, it was just the adventure of a lifetime. I was so glad I did it, and I just really enjoyed it. If I could do it again, I would do it again in a heartbeat. The Safari Rally is held every other year. I'd be out there every time, but uh, it, it is an expensive endeavor, so that's the only thing keeping me back. My advice is to anyone who wants to do that dream event is that they should do it and fulfill their dreams and live your dreams.